Welcome back guys in another video review. Uh, today is for a trade shoes, the new Pellegrin uh, from Saucony. And uh, we are here waiting for the taxi boat uh, towards uh, Los Lobos Island. I know that there is a good trail path there, so let's check it out. Here we are, guys. Look at the view. It's amazing. Wow, it was really a great day in uh, Los Lobos, guys. A nice environment, uh, uh, full of great spots. I visited the entire island. If you are interested, you can check the part uh, in my Strava, and uh, most likely, I will upload a different video on this uh, uh, specific adventure. As always, let's split the video in three main chapters, uh, the specs, uh, the outsole, midsole and upper, and finally the conclusions. Starting from the specs, we have a neutral shoe of 20.5 millimeters in the heel, 20.5 uh, in the forefoot for a drop of 4 millimeters, with a Saucony power truck sole, uh, a power run uh, ever rubber midsole, a single layer mesh upper with integrated tongue, a solid but uh, also flexible heel counter cap, 7mm power run plus uh, ETPU uh, rubber insole, which is great for a weight of 276 grams, uh, 9.7 ounces uh, in my size, you have 10 sides, uh, really more than 50 grams, uh, uh, 1.7 ounces uh, lighter than the previous version, which is super well done. So, for me, the shoe is not true to sides, uh, I took uh, half sides less, uh, US 9.5 instead than 10. The price is another 20 euro. Let's talk about the hustle now, but before to go ahead, smash the like button and uh, activate the notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, let's keep this uh, channel growing, guys. Uh, thank you for your uh, support and uh, I really appreciate it. But now let's talk about the midsole. Outsole. It has an excellent grip, as you have seen. Uh, I run in different conditions and the gravel paths, and uh, it is impressive. Uh, uh, very versatile household, especially during the mountain descent. Uh, it grasped well the ground because in Los Lobos uh, the descent was quite uh, uh, steep. Uh, Downhill is even more difficult and dangerous uh, with all the volcanic stone but definitely after a few meters I trusted the grip of the Peregrine 12 uh, totally it was uh, a test to the limit uh, in this case uh, luckily it worked uh, otherwise no video today guys <laughs> <laughs> the power truck also is pretty much uh, the same as the previous version with 5mm uh, uh, lugs uh, uh, with an arrow shape pattern uh, which is pretty effective uh, even on the sand. It quickly evacuates sand and uh, mud as well. I felt the material not so uh, rigid under the foot uh, and uh, it gave me flexibility and comfort at the same time because uh, I haven't felt any stones under my feet uh, and uh, since it was uh, full of uh, stones uh, uh, that's uh, also pretty impressive. On the road, on the other hand, flexibility is still okay, but due to the deep lugs, uh, uh, they are not so comfortable. But of course, being uh, trail shoes, this uh, is not really a deal breaker for me because I wasn't uh, uh, looking for a, an hybrid shoe. Looking at the midsole, uh, like the previous model, the 27 millimeters in the heel makes the Peregrine 12 not a minimalist uh, shoe, but nevertheless, so gone managed to reduce the weight, uh, giving a good cushioning that uh, in these shoes remains moderate. The Power Run midsole, uh, combined with a great uh, Power Run Plus insole, uh, still provides comfort and response. Again, a remark, I haven't felt any stones uh, thanks to it, especially thanks also to the uh, rock plate, uh, which assure a great protection. I found the shoe pretty responsive and uh, during the tour of the island uh, in the flat part of the path, uh, for sure not in the mountain guys, uh, I was able to test it better, increasing the pace, uh, uh, feeling a, a great energy return, uh, really good for a trail shoe. As you know, I'm not a fan of uh, lower drops uh, because 
actually I'm not using them so often. Therefore, if you like uh, me, uh, are not used to uh, lower drops, a 4mm drop could give you a flat feeling and uh, a bit of uh, uh, pain in your calves uh, the day after. But honestly speaking, the day after the entire visit of the Highland, uh, I haven't uh, felt any pain uh, and uh, it was not uh, uh, that flat feeling. Measuring the um, mid solarness with the durometer, we can see that it could be not ideal for long distances because it's uh, firmness. 40 points for me is kind of benchmark limit uh, for uh, comfort and uh, below 40 I consider the shoe more comfortable usually but in this case the uh, insole mitigated uh, and uh, I had the feeling uh, to wear a shoe with uh, a midsole below 40 points uh, so that's another way to assure a, a good comfort. The shoe fits well to my running style, uh, as you can see from the footage, even uh, with my little pronation, uh, so perfect. Let's talk about the upper now, which is different than in the previous version. The first concern I had it was to wear a tennis shoe in an island uh, with such warm weather. I said mm, I will have to uh, walk uh, uh, with the flip for for the rest of my vacation. Instead, the shoe hopper was uh, super breathable, and uh, I can tell you it was really pleasant to me uh, to notice it. You can also see through it. This doesn't have any impact on the protection uh, because there is a protective uh, toe box and also the heel counter is solid. It could be even too solid uh, for the most. Uh, in my case, it was okay. Uh, it didn't annoy me at all. The lockdown was perfect uh, since my first ride uh, which is kind of strange I usually have to play with the, the latest uh, two or more times uh, uh, before to find the best fit especially in a new shoe but in this case it wasn't uh, needed at all and uh, the laces kept uh, the, the foot locked uh, in place uh, quite important for a trade shoe and uh, I believe also thanks to this uh, special uh, sticky laces Moreover, there is an elastic band to pick up well the laces, uh, a smart light feature which works uh, great. The tongue has a bit of uh, padding but uh, not too much and uh, it's quite comfortable and breathable at the same time so well done Soconi. And last but not least the engineered mesh uh, is almost only made by uh, recycled material which I like a lot. And of course guys I almost forgot it how much is beautiful this colorway. So in conclusion, first of all I was able to finish the visit of the entire island in a warm way with different gravel paths and conditions and uh, that is the first important goal achieved uh, thanks also to the Peregrine 12. The shoe was really light and responsive, uh, flexible ensuring a certain comfort uh, uh, but maybe not suggested for long distances especially for heavy runners. It was breathable and uh, with the right protection and perfect lockdown. In terms of durability we will see because uh, the household looks great but uh, I have no benchmark uh, in, the, in this case for the hopper. But overall I would suggest the shoe mainly for training, uh, not for long distances, but um, great for hop, hill and tempo run and uh, for hiking as well. For racing, maybe since uh, the weight is much better now, uh, but of course uh, there are um, more, uh, I would say, performance and lighter shoes out there, especially for racing. Overall, was a great fit for me and uh, the price is really okay, another 20 euro for such a shoe, uh, considering we are talking about uh, a trail shoe is great. I hope guys it was interesting, that's uh, why I'm doing actually this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, to leave a like if you like this content and say that as always, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time, keep running.